Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? Grim here. Um, today I have for you a very basic look at the TSM add-on, which is also known as the Trade Skill Master add-on. You probably have heard about this from a friend or in a stream. Um, and my goal here is to give you a very, very basic breakdown of it. Um, so what you first want to do is you either want to go to Trade Skill Master uh, dot com or alternatively you can use the twitch app which I have here uh, you can go to mods and you could go to get more at this top here type in TSM very very easy it should pop right up um, the one you oh I already have it installed so I'll have to go to my add-ons and you have it right there trade skill master um, app helper so the reason that you have the app helper is primarily because there's three parts to this add-on so download that to begin with or alternatively if you like to download your add-ons um, through uh, manually we can do that later so first off you want to go to tradeskillmasters.com uh, which I already have up here you'll see the latest blog post um, this is a very in-depth add-on has a lot a lot of features but I am just here to give you the basic basic information so First off, you'll want to go to install TSM. Uh, once you do that, you can either download, uh, you definitely have to download the TSM4, the app helper. All, also, you must download the TS, uh, Trade Skill Master app. So once you download these three add-ons, you'll want to make an account, like I have here. Um, after that, you will probably be nearly done with downloading the application. And what that's gonna look like is something like this here, but you're not gonna see anything um, on this setup until you decide to log in. So make your account, log in here. Next thing you wanna do is go to uh, your account, app configuration. Right down here, you wanna go to realm selection. Um, you would probably wanna add all the realms that you typically pre uh, play on and it'll know that way the add-on isn't going to be overloaded and it's going to know what uh, realm to pull on to pull from so once you do that you may or may not need to refresh this little application here uh, re-log in but it should populate the realm list so that's a big step done congratulations you've got that on all ready to go and you're going to be making lots and lots of money but how do you use it so one easy way I've found is to um, always check every single little green that you come across. We're going to log in to one of my characters here and we'll see what's going on. Go with our main character. All right. And we are going to head to the auction house. Um, engineers, we have a nice little auction house very close by. So we'll just head there. Okay, so once you've made your way to the auction house, you'll see a very strange interface like this. You'll see my auctions, auctioning, shopping, and sniper. Um, the main ones that you want to worry about are the auctioning and the shopping. Um, you don't really need to check on your auctions, but look how many things I have listed very, very easily, all 48 hours. So, first things first, um, how do you auction on this add-on? So if you did everything right, you should be able to go into your interface and you will be able to scroll over things and it will come up with a big list of minimum buyout market value, region market value, all kinds of things like that. The main one that you want to pay attention to if you're just trying to get this this add-on done and ready to go is the regional uh, the region sale average. That is the one that you would want to focus on. That's what you can expect to typically get out of your pro um, you know your item, but it doesn't always work out that way. So when you want to list an item, what you want to do is you want to go down to it. You have to scroll through this whole big long list um, of items. And what I will do is I will auction off my enchanted ring pack. So you could select multiple at once. Um, I go through a lot of different um, auctions. So if you, you know, if you're quick, you can really scroll through these fast. You can list, list them really quickly. Uh, I'm going to throw this one up there. So what you should see is you should see the price. You should see it'll most likely be set at 24 hours. 
Um, if you want that to change, which most people do, uh, if you're trying to list things and just get it done, especially green items that you pick up from a random transmog run or a random dungeon, uh, you definitely want it to be at 48 hours. You get that long lasting time. Um, we can definitely show you that. So if you want the 48 hours, what you would want to do is you want to go to the add-on, site type slash TSM. It's going to pull up this whole complicated list of ledgers and operations and all kinds of stuff like that. All you want to go to is operations, auctioning, default, posting, and then you're going to be selected on 24 hours. Change it over to 48 hours. Do yourself a favor so you don't have to list as long or as many times. Then you can also get into more detail, but I do not recommend it until you familiarize yourself with the add-on of set setting post caps, uh, stack sizes. This is very good if you're trying to sell resources. So for instance, if you're gonna set a post cap, you probably would do 200 and you can also change the stack size as well. So those are two um, things if you're picking a lot of herbs and you're trying to turn them over, great functionality to use. So now that you have the selling features all laid out, you'll notice they do have a shopping section what I recommend is, for instance, you can get very specific with the add-on. Um, if you type in just, say, Battle Potions of Agility, um, most likely what will happen is it's only going to pull up one list. But if you end everything with slash exact, it'll pull up an, a whole laundry list of different uh, items to purchase. So that way you can see the uh, market value, you can see the price of it. So for instance, let's do Battle Potions of Agility. Um, you, can, you can either have your cursor here and shift it, just let, shift left click, just like you do on the regular auction. So we'll do that. It's gonna scan everything on our server, uh, which is Thrall. And then we'll be able to see that there are some really, really good potion prices right now um 50 percent below the market value so this guy right here it would be an awesome opportunity for us to buy them we just made a bunch of money um 50 below what the uh what the actual sell price is so very very good very easy to get auctions off of there and you know you'll notice the entire list that goes all the way up to people trying to price gouge them all the way up to 1.5k so now that you have that in the bank um there is not too much else with this add-on. Um, you can run the sniper feature, which if you really, really want to uh, maximize on auctions like you just saw me getting there, uh, you could definitely do that. However, it does take a long time. Um, you can pause it midway through when you're running the uh, bid or buyout sniper, but I found that not everything is always 100% um, amazing. For instance, this thing is only at 46%. So if you were to buy it, you'd probably sell it for 19, um, 19K. But you want to look at the average sale price right there, 620 gold. So this add-on, this part portion of the add-on isn't always the most reliable, but you can definitely take advantage of it if you choose. But the big reason that we want to use this add-on is because when you're running transmog runs, you can make so much more money from simply picking up those greens that you would typically vendor, easily can sell for 5,000, 10,000 gold, depending on your server's economy. TSM also has a functionality with the mail um, that it's, it's a little more in-depth. Um, you have a little bit more mass sending options, so if you want to do that, definitely take advantage of it. I personally prefer the WoW interface one, but you do you. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this guide, and I hope to see you all making lots and lots of money off of those precious BOE greens from Dungeons & Raids. Until next time, this is Grim signing off. Peace.